Hello everyone, Barb here from barbaderholt.glosetomyheart.com. Today we are going to assemble this card. I believe this is the evergreen paper and this is somewhat based on a card that was in that card kit. Um, I also did see this design by Crafty Concepts with Erin. If I think of it, I will try to link her video in the description below. I don't think it was an actual assembly video. I think she just showed it. But she has a great YouTube channel, and I encourage you to go there. I'm using the Evergreen Card Making Workshop. So this is where that pine cone and the little sprigs come from. And then this other little baby sprig fact maybe both of these little sprigs um, come from the Silver Bells card making workshop. These may or may not be in stock anymore. They were in the November December catalog from Close to My Heart for 2023 and things have been selling out like crazy. Okay so I've got some different things going on here. I do have some um, pine shimmer trim all of these little pieces that I die cut in advance because I don't think you want to sit around watching me do that and then this is this is um, evergreen paper so I did quite a few of these and all you do is you take a square you know your rectangle and line it up and cut it in half I am going to take some mocha ink and do a little bit of quickie inking. So my quickie inking is just taking the pad right to the paper and hitting the highlights. Inking is personal preference. You don't have to ink, but I just think it makes it look cool. And gives a little depth and dimension. The colors of um, cardstock that I have here are mocha and pine and I believe sage. Then I do have some gold foil paper that I used for that and that was just just for a little bit of glitz to go along with that shimmer trim. I can see I am inking up my fingers but good, but that's okay. And then I believe this is acorn. And before we go assembling all of this stuff, I want to get these triangles put onto the card base. I'm just using my ATG gun. You can use whatever floats your boat. I'm leaving a little bit of a, a margin there. And I think this is beautiful paper. Very serene. Year, we have several packets of paper that are just lovely. Okay, now on this, I'm going to need to stamp that Noel, and that Noel comes from the Evergreen card making. So I'm going to take the little foamy pad that comes with, mount the Noel onto my block. I've used it a few times, so it should be fairly well seasoned. And I can tell that I have pretty good ink coverage. And I can see through the black, which I love about the close to my heart stamps. Sorry if my head gets in the way. I'm going to go down and put a little pressure on there so that ink will transfer from the stamp to the paper. 
peel it off. That looks good to me. So now I can attach this and I'm kind of eyeball centering. Now I'm going to show you a little trick, get some things out of the way. I'm going to take my trimmer and this trimmer is in our catalog but it is no longer being made by Fiskars. So I think that Close to My Heart has introduced a new trimmer. Um, I bought a Tim Holtz trimmer <laughs> because you can't get the little cutting deals anymore and I loved this trimmer. I loved this cut rail. It was really nice and sturdy but can't get what you can't get. So I've got a piece of that pine shimmer trim. It's mm, not quite five and a half inches long and I'm going to peel it off of the back or just like that. And what I'm going to do is center it over the cut, the cut line on here. And I'm just letting it tack itself down to my trimmer. That won't hurt anything. And I'm going to draw my blade over that. And then I can peel it up and it cuts it in half. Um, it's much easier than trying to uh, use scissors to whack it in half. Um, there's a little bit that hangs over the edge and I'm just going to trim that off and it'll be just fine. And we can grab the other half. Same deal. Just going to get it onto here. And that is the easiest way that I know to cut that shimmer trim in half. It's normally about a half of an inch wide, and this makes it a quarter of an inch wide. I went a little wonky with my scissors, but I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, Ooh, I got little bits stuck. So there's the card with that shimmer trim. Doesn't that just dress that up? I love that. Okay, to put together all of the rest of this, I use liquid glue. You could use a dot runner um, if I was really ahead of the game and thinking. Before I even put this through my machine, I would have put on some of that sticky back. I don't know what it's called exactly. So uh, Different companies have it. Close to my heart has it, and it's a double stick. And you could put it on your cardstock and run it through, and then it's it's like it's a sticker. I'm just I'm just gonna pick up a little of the excess glue that oozes out. It does dry clear. Okay, and I'm gonna bring in my example. And yes, we wanna we wanna start building this, and I am. just winging it. Now I'm going to try to get these over here. So I want to keep that in mind as I'm building. I do want to stick one of these little gold guys in there. They're so cute. They're so delicate. But worth the effort. Love that. And then I think I'm going to glue this one straight down. There it is. And 
this one, I think I'm going to rip a little bit of it off. And that's something that you can do to make things work for you. Got these placed. Oop, I caught my finger. I want to do a little bit of some adhesive. Dimensional adhesive. Sorry, I had to go search for it. <laughs> How are you guys doing with your Christmas crafting? Is your craft room a disaster? I can say mine is kind of trying to be. So I've got this one. I'm going to lay it this way so that it hangs down just a little bit over that trim. I think that looks nice. I'm going to take gold shimmer brush. And I am going to do a little dabbing in the on, on my pine cones. And then I will do a little splattering and I just tap on the lid. It's very delicate and just adds a little hint of a glimmer. And I really like it. Isn't that a neat card? I just love it. So again, I will. I think I will just link to Erin's channel. <laughs> if I can find the video that showed this card, I will do that. Um, but if I don't, it's Crafty Concepts with Erin. She has a great YouTube channel, does a lot of really neat things. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, I certainly would appreciate it. Um, give it a like, thumbs up, you know, all the, all the happy things. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a blessed crafty day and I will see you next time.